Drop it. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Scorpion Lynx, and today um, we are going to be reviewing a mod. Well, it's not really a mod, I'd call it. I'd call it more of a command block creation. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out some alliteration for it, but obviously that doesn't really work that well. But um, here we spawn by this kind of cool looking little grotto area. And what's this? familiar looking face here. I think I may have found my pet cow searching around for me. Hey there, there's Gerber. Yeah, it's been a while, Gerber. But, um, yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna get on with the mod here. It's been a while, guys, I know, and it's also gonna be another <laughs> great long while of time after this, because I'm going on vacation for like three weeks. So... And then I'll probably get back to making maybe weekly videos. I might try that. I don't know. I'm kind of, you know, I've kind of been busy for the past you know, few months since I've made a video. Basically with school, which is over now. And also with, um... Oh yeah, Scorpion Links Games, my other channel. I mean, I've made a few videos on in the past few months more than on this channel for sure but uh, last time I did check I got a lot of views on my Five Nights at Freddy's little video so yeah I see you guys are enjoying that but let's get straight to this so first what you're gonna want to do is do so slash give at player or you could type in your name and then command oh almost spelled that wrong command underscore block and then you get a command block. So with this command block, basically, oh god, <laughs> my voice just cut out there. Basically, you can type in the command, and I have the command with Control V, or just paste it in with Control V, and there it is. I will put the command in the description. I sadly don't have the website for it, so I'm just gonna. I don't know, I might put the, the command in the description or the link for the place where you can copy it, but I think this would be a lot easier just pasting this in the description. Alright, so you need to put a redstone source up to it, just got to shift so you don't click on it. And there we go, we can get rid of that. And it's just falling and falling and I'm pretty sure some of you may have seen this about a billion times. Hey look, that glitch. Why is it doing that? <laughs> That's weird. I'm gonna have to retry this. Alright guys, and we're back. Um, so, yeah, I just made a new one here, and this one's all glitchy because um, the trees... I think the tree caused it to be glitchy. And I, did def I had to break the redstone or else um, the mod air quote wouldn't work. So, is this my cow? No, it's not. I don't know where my cow went, but... It's gotta be around here somewhere because I mean, he doesn't go far from me. Um, so basically what this mod allows you to do, uh, I told you earlier it was the robot mod. So what you can do is put a redstone repeater, an iron ingot, and a gold ingot, or not iron, not an iron ingot, an iron block. And then you get a robot and a robot controller. And so basically what we're gonna do, I kinda wanna go in survival, I'm not sure. I mean, it's the, it's the same thing if you're in creative, I believe, so. Just spawn in the robot, it was an endermite for a second, now it looks like a little um, monitor of some sort. It kinda looks like a CRT television because of the back. But, <clears throat> as you can tell, all of these things, like this legit tree here, is, well, what it might be able to do, so let's get on with it. Alright guys, to make this thing work, what you do is just bring up the robot controller, and you click T like you're about to write something, but you have to use this as your... This is basically your mode of transportation, I could say, or the, the way to move it around. So you can turn it like that, it's pretty cool. I like this 
mod a lot. Not mod, but I think this is probably my favorite command creation mod. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, honestly. How about one command creation? That's that's what a lot of people call it, so I'm just going to call it that. And um, so basically, you can also... Uh, there's a really cool feature where you can go first person on it, but it's kind of buggy at the moment. I think they should improve it because... Hey, look. Never mind, it's not my cow. Alright, so... First off, we are going to... Oh. Break those blocks over there. I kind of want to go into first person, like, really bad, but... It might be buggy. So... We're gonna, bl we're gonna break this tree, so... You break them and you break every single block in just one hit, which is pretty cool. And you can also do pick up items. The cool thing is that when you pick up the item on here, it brings it into your um, slot or hot bar, which is really cool because, I mean, that would also be cool if it had an inventory of its own, of its own. But I think that's cool that it teleports the items to you. So I'm gonna go in first person here because I want to. So this is what it looks like. It's really cool, and I'm bugging on a piece of grass here. So I don't see myself, which is weird, because I should be standing like right there. Oh wait, I see myself. I'm like invisible. See how buggy this is? Oh well, <laughs> it's a bit buggy. But right now I'm just gonna show you. You can go underground with this thing. You could mine around, but. Unless you want to, I mean, if you want to see that thing constantly on your face, yeah, that's fine, but, so, yep, here it is. You can go underground, which is awesome. And, yeah, and then you could start mining. Watch this. I'm just going to start mining here. Oh, and now I'm glitching. I'm glitching the crap out right now. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was stuck in that wall for a second. So just break blocks. Now something's being weird right now. Okay, so to get out of the camera, you click X. And this is what I told you when it's really buggy. Um, so I'm going to have to refresh my Minecraft. I'll be right back. You guys, I told you it was buggy. Um, I'm not going to do that again. But let's spawn another robot here. Oops, that's not a robot. There we go. Hey, look, it's... Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is break those blocks over there, so, uh, okay, do you see the two, two robots next to each other? This is really buggy. Alright, there we go. So, for some odd reason, another robot spawned. Yep, another robot spawned in. Oh boy, I'm going to have to break these, hold on. Sorry guys about that experience we had there. Now I'm just going to break these blocks over here. So we could go mining with this thing, which is really cool, but... Like I said, it's really buggy and you saw it firsthand how the first person is, but... Break block, and... We could do some more breaking of the blocks. So break block, break block. Yes, you can break diamonds. And one hit, which is awesome. Hey, look at the lag. Oh, one frame per second. Okay, there we go. Now, one thing I'm very curious about. Can you break red, bleh, bedrock? I've never tried it before. Let's do it. Oh, my God. You could, bake, you could break red... Bleh! Shut up, mate. Okay, I'm trying to say this. You can break bedrock. That's, that's hard to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> You could rake bread block, you could fake blood block. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I just woke up about like 40 minutes ago. That's maybe my, my voice is all hoarse right now. And break block, yep, breaking obsidian in one hit. And pick up items, and it all just teleports to me. And I got some bedrock. I tried to say that slowly so I could actually pronounce the word. And that's kind of the mod, basically. One thing it doesn't pick up is experience, which might be pretty bad, but for those of you who get most of their experience from monster hunting, I mean, that's fine, but not really if you want to use this for mining. But yeah, guys, that's 
kind of basically the mod. So, you know, it can go underground. It could also probably go in here. Yep, it could it could totally go in here, but you'd have to spectate it if you don't want to be glitchy in first person. I mean, all you do is see the little face of this robot every once in a while, which is fine, but if you want to escape from the robot, you just have to click save and quit and then go back in the game, spawn in another robot. I mean, you could spawn in a crap ton of robots, but... It was really glitchy trying to control too. I'm actually gonna... <laughs> let's see. Let's see what this is like. Yep. It's weird. Oh, yep. Okay, I think I know what happens. You control the robot that's closest to you. So, I'm gonna go over here and maybe try. Oops, I keep clicking that. I don't know where the closest robot is to me. Oh, that was weird. Anyway, guys, um... <clears throat> command link will be in the description and also just put the command in the description I mean I want to give them credit for making this awesome command creation thing but until next time guys um, you know subscribe for more comment if you have an opinion about this and then like the video if you liked it and um, also what people don't do a lot these days well what I don't know of is if people favorite the video. Favorite the video if you really liked it. I mean, if you want to keep, if you want to keep the command in mind. I mean, I favorite videos if like it's a cool mod, because I want to I want to download the mod later. <clears throat> but basically, yeah. Comment, subscribe, and like, and follow me on Twitter too. I post fairly a lot on Twitter. Um, so yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.